Hey guys, Happy New Year. I hope this year turns out to be a lot better than the past two. Right now you're seeing a muted clip of me and my student midway through a question. With the two questions we go through, pause, give it a try, and then give the video a watch. So this video will show parts of the tuition that I offer. The student found me via my YouTube channel and found the tuition really helpful. Like before, this video will just show clips from one lesson that I gave. This is the first part and the second one will be released in the future. So enough of my rambling, let's get into it. An aircraft in position over HO, sounds like an NDB, and where Yankee Yankee Romeo VOR is at those coordinates there. And well, the VOR can be received. And it tells us the magnetic variation at HO and Yankee yeah. Yankee Romeo. And it wants us to work out the radial from Yankee Yankee Romeo. Have you seen a question like this before? Oh, uh, yes, I have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so what sort of approach would you take to start it? Uh, I'm not really sure because I've it's been quite a while since I yeah. gone through the questions. So I just wanted to brush up on like how to approach these questions. Yeah. So, well, as you can see from my like the YouTube videos I made, I like to visualize yeah. and draw things out as much as possible. Do you think that we can draw anything out here? Yeah, just their position. So uh, they're on different longitudes. Uh, and on the, uh, no, sorry, different latitudes. Different latitudes, yeah. And what about yeah. the longitude? Uh, it's the same. It's the same. So yeah. does that mean one's left or right or one's above and below? Or... Uh, above and below. Okay, yeah. So which one's on top? Sure, is on top, yeah. And, uh... There we go. H, if I can draw correctly, H-O. And yeah, this is, at the bottom. yeah. yeah. Cool. And now we need to figure out sort of, well, where are we? Where's the aircraft? Right. The aircraft is over HO. So it's yeah. There. It's over there. And we're reading the radial from Yankee Yankee mm -hmm. Romeo, right? So if we look yeah. at the answers, well, because the variation is quite big, it's fair enough, but like, yeah. If, let's mm. say, there was no variation, do you know what radial we'd be on? Yeah, zero, zero, zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're like on a northerly one, right? And now we yeah. need to figure out how do we apply the magnetic variation. Right. Uh, you know? So the variation's at the VOR. Yeah. yeah, and that one's 28 west. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's the key point, sorry. really, isn't it? It's that yeah. from this question... You don't do the variation sort of where you are. You do it where the VOR is, or you know, VR is. yeah. Right. So, so then, what sort of method do you use west. to convert? So if it's best, so it's magnetic best. So I add it to the. Radio. Yeah. Yeah. You use that saying. The way the way I do it is using it, this thing. Have you seen a CDMVT before? I have. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not really sure how to go about. Okay, so, so yeah. this is another way of doing it. I mean, west is best, east is least. That still sort of works, but when it becomes into the numbers, for example, plus yeah. or minus, do you know how to use it then? No, not really. Oh, okay. So let's actually go over this quickly because this is to do with um actual latitudes and longitudes. The reference frame that we know we're in is like true north. Well, to do with true bearings, right? because it's to do with right. latitudes and longitudes, nothing magnetic. And we know we're exactly 360 degrees or, you know, zero degrees. Yeah. And then if I'll, like you said, the variation we're going to use is 28 degrees west. Right. What we do is think about if the, for example, this is going west, right? And this is going uh -huh. east. Right. If we're going in this direction to get to the magnetic one, we can see that this one and this one are the same. Yeah. So we add it. Okay. So for if this one was, uh, if this was east, right? Right. Yeah. Then this and this would be opposite. 
right. and then would subtract. Um, yeah, so that is just the direction in which you're going in because we're going to the left, right? And because it's west, we add, so we get to zero to eight degrees. Yep. Yeah. And if we had the same with, let's say, in numbers, as in plus or minus, you know how, like, um, in most uh, languages, when you read, you go from left to right. So going yeah. from left to right, you would just add, or right to left, yeah. you would subtract. But that becomes a bit different. For example, let's say we had um, 90 to degrees here, and then a minus 5. You would just do what the symbol says if you're going from left to right. So this would become okay. 85 degrees. Okay. Yeah. And if it was plus five, it would become 95 degrees. So you do okay. like normally what's expected, you know, when you go from left to right. But okay. if we go the other way, for example, 95, and this is plus uh, five, we've got to do the opposite because okay. we're going okay. right to left. Do right opposite to what the symbol says, yeah? Okay. So we get back to 90. And like we said before, this way, you, you just do what it says. <laughs> Yeah. And this way, you do the opposite. Do the opposite. Yeah. Have you seen CD MVT before? I have seen it. Yeah. yeah. And you know what the CD part of it is? Uh, the compass setting. Yeah. Uh, and the deviation. Yeah. Cool. And it's the same thing, you know. The MVT is just a bit shorter there. But yeah, that's about it. You got any questions about that? No, I'm good with this. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Before we get into the next question, if you think this tuition would be helpful for you, send an email to approachatpl at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just in case you forget, I've also left this email in the description. Okay, yeah. so we've got an aircraft at that latitude, two degrees and 20 minutes north, and it tracks 360 degrees true for 685 kilometers. It wants to know what is its, what is its latitude at the end of the flights. What are you thinking about this one? How do we start? Basically, it's just changing latitude, so, so it's going north. Yep. And so what is the latitude at the end of the flight? So each degree of latitude, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't really remember. Do you remember how like a nautical mile is defined? Or was defined. Uh, 60 degrees. Uh, it's one minute. <laughs> one minute. One minute. Uh, yeah. So here we can see we're at latitude and we're going north. Doesn't matter if we're going north yeah. or south. If that means we're going along a meridian, right? Right. And yeah. there's one fact about all meridians. They all are a certain, they all have a certain property. Do you know what that is? Um, great circle. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That's the main important point. I mean, the, the rum lines as well, because the definition of rum line is that, you know, the track doesn't change. I mean, yeah, but the more, more yeah, the most important thing is it's a great circle. And right. all great circles on the globe have the same sort of circumference, don't they? Yeah. If you look at the top of the globe, for example, 80 degrees latitude going around it, that's going to be a lot less than the equator, isn't it? But when you're going yeah. like yeah. north southerly across the meridians, then they are all the same. Um, mm -hmm. There is an equation. We can uh, look at this and I'll, I'll show you how it relates to after. But okay. with this, because we know it's a great circle. So the one property about great circles is, yeah, like you said, is that one minute is one nautical mile, 60 minutes, 60 nautical miles. Yeah. D a degree is 60 nautical miles, that kind of thing. And yeah. So that's about great circles. And I want to show you this equation here that you need to uh, remember for your exams as well. And you can actually relate it to this. Okay, departure. Yeah, have you seen departure before? Have you heard of it? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. Departure of nautical miles equals 60, your change in longitude times the cosine of your latitude. But right. this only really works when you're going east or west. Departure is east or west, but we're doing north and south, right? That's right. But when you go north and south, that is a lot more simpler, really, 
because the equation becomes uh, you just basically forget about this. <laughs> you forget about that. Okay. And then you just have this, the change in latitude in degrees. So it'll be like your distance okay. is equal to 60, your change in lat. You know what this triangle means? Yeah, the change. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, this is sort of um, east, west, and this is um, north, south. If it's north or south, uh, you just use the 16 to change in longitude. Well, 60 change in latitude. In, in latitude, sorry. Yeah, because okay. when we, this one yeah. where we're going north yeah. and south, this is if we're only going north and south. Yeah. So it's okay. only directly north or directly south. If we start going like east or west a bit, then we need to, we will get a triangle, and then we'll need to think about the um, the north south component and the east west component. If that makes sense, right. yeah. Yeah. So we'd have to th yeah. think of both of them. But yeah, um, as we're just going north or south completely, we'll just use that one. So how would you go about using that equation? So the change in latitude is. So we know departure, that means. So we know that it's 685. 685, yeah. It's yeah. in kilometers. It's yeah. in kilometers, so we need to convert it to not kilometers. Yeah. Um, don't really remember how to do that. Okay, so uh, the, there's a, also a question that comes up in GenNav, which is what is the ICAO definition of a nautical mile? The definition of a nautical mile is not one minute, Okay. okay, the IKO is not one minute like that. It's not 6,080 feet, which is also what other people use. It's, okay. they are basically the same, but the IKO de okay. definition is 1,852 meters. 1,852, right. Meters, yeah. Meters, yeah. And I'm assuming you know how to go from meters to kilometers as well? Yeah, so 685 is... Also, have you got your pulley on you? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So if you forget in the exam, I'll show you how to do it on this as well. Okay. Okay. So yeah, first do it on your calculator and tell me, or tell me what you're doing. <laughs> so kilometers to meters, uh, six eighty-five uh, thousand, right? Yeah. So meters, uh, eighty-five thousand. Because the departure will be 369 or 370. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. 370 over 60. 6.16. Yeah, but if you can press the DMS button, do you know the DMS button? Yeah. yeah. L look so at that, it's a lot nicer, six, isn't it? Yeah, 6 degrees, 10 minutes. Yeah. So... Yeah. Whenever you do a question like this, and it could be degrees, minutes, seconds, or this, just check on the DMS button, and then that will give you the better way to write it. Zero. So the change is six degrees, 10 minutes. Yeah. What is latitude? So you have to add it to the old latitude. Then. Yeah. 90 degrees plus. So 830. Yeah. All right, 29. Yeah. There's multiple different versions of this question. It's the same sort of thing. Okay. This is the easiest one out of them all. But I'm going to say, I'm just going to change our initial latitude and our track, okay? okay? And it's going to be the okay. same numbers with the latitude and the... And I want you to tell me how to do it. So if we were 0, 2 degrees and 20 minutes south and we're tracking okay. 180 degrees for the same okay. amount of distance... What would our final latitude be? If we were tracking south, as we're going south, so... Yeah, and we... Uh, the latitude decreases, right? No, uh, but that, that's the thing. Because okay. if we're at 2 degrees 20 minutes south, aren't we? Yeah. And if you're going more south, the number's going to increase. Oh, yeah. So just okay. to put... That's the trap that they like doing, right? So let's say this was the equator. Right, and then um, there's two degrees twenty minutes north, and here's two degrees twenty minutes south. 
we're starting from there and we're going more south, isn't it? So it's just going to get bigger the number right. when this was zero. So actually, you just add them. Okay. So you do the two uh, degrees plus the change and you'd get the same answer. This, but it's not it north. It's uh, Yeah. So it's like the, the same thing, but it's just reflected across the equator. So that was... Yeah, that was just everything on its, you know, upside down. Yeah. Yeah. But now let's let's have another go. Let's try zero, well, two degrees, 20 minutes north and going 180 degrees true. And that's our track. Okay. So it's starting in the northern hemisphere and going south. Yeah, so now it would be six, ten. If I'm not mistaken. So how how what sort of calculation would you do? How would you get to six? So I I take out the uh, so the total change would be eight thirty. Okay, so and I'll it's uh, the six ten. Yeah, would be the total change. Yeah. So out of six ten, I take out uh, two twenty. Okay. So. We're starting at two degrees and 20 minutes, and then we're going 180 degrees true for six degrees and 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the way to do that is because we're starting there, we literally start from that, and then we need to add or subtract. Yeah. Because we're in the north and we're going south, we have to subtract. Okay. Yeah, so it's like we're starting here okay. and we're going down. Right. And what does that give you on your calculator? Negative uh, 3 degrees 15 minutes. Yeah, but we don't write negative 3 degrees 15 minutes. What, what does that mean? Uh, south. Yeah. So what that is is just 3 degrees 50 minutes south. Yeah. Okay, I understood. Cool. All I was right. confusing a bit someone, something else, so I got it now. Nice. All right. So if you get your pulley, and this is just a convert, right, between units. So here we had that 685, oh, 685 kilometers, and we want to convert that to nautical miles. So you see at the top of your pulley, it says KMM liters. Yeah. Yeah, those are all the um, well, system international metric units, really. Those are the nice ones. So what we do is just put what we got underneath there. We don't have 600 and something, but we've got 660. Can you see that on your inner scale on the pulley? Yeah. 60. 60. And then you put yeah. the 68.5. Right. You put that underneath the kilometers, so underneath the, the arrow which is at yeah. 10, near the 10, yeah? yeah? Yeah. And then you find the nautical mile arrow. Don't So you keep it fixed like that. You don't spin it anymore. Okay. And you can see on the okay. left, there's that nautical mile arrow. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see on the inner scale, it lines up with about 300 and, well, 37, yeah? 37, yeah. But it's... 37. Yeah. Six, yeah, 68.5 gives you 37, 685 will give you 370. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right. No worries. I'm I'm actually making a um, flight computer course as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but it's going to be quite a while <laughs> till that comes out. So I don't know if it'll yeah. help you how, how you're doing it, but um, it's just, it. you know, I like when, when I'm teaching and showing people things showing backup methods multiple methods you know yeah. oh you forgot one thing this is another way you can do it you know thanks for watching my video if you want to see more things like this please like and share the video with your buddies and the communities you are within i want to spend more time doing things like this so i can release more videos and improve the quality of my content but can only do that with your help thanks again and see you soon